thought I'd do a trading diary for my comrades long run tomorrow morning let you all know what life is like as a comrades runner it is the it is freedom day the 27th of April just before 8 p.m. there's all my running kit packed for the morning some more of it there we uh, at my wife's parents house tonight eight o'clock almost bedtime alarm is set for 4 a.m. in the morning got to be on the road at uh, 4.35 to head out to Hillcrest and join a crowd I am doing a hopefully about a 35k run to round off a it'll be about a 108k week I think this week so that's what I've got to look forward to in the morning See you then! The 4am alarm. Backup alarm. Always have two. So, 4.35 a.m. and we are rolling. This is what it's like for most comrade runners. The uh, pre-dawn patrol. Pitch dark, no sign of light on the horizon. I've got a 4k little warm up this morning on my own before I meet up with Dean White's beloved long runs group they are running from Hillcrest to Durban this morning uh, along the, the down run route as close as possible to the comrades route obviously the roads are open today so they can't go all the way down so you have to make a few changes along the way and stick as close as possible but to fit in with the family plans today I'm running as far as the top of Fields Hill with them and then I'll turn around and do the rest of my run on the way back to here and then we're going to jump in the car and head off for the long weekend So we're on our main road now, coming down through Hillcrest and there is the beloved Long Runs crowd. There should be a lot of people running today and there are tons. So we'll tag on with them for part of their run. Just going to go and chip in my 20 bucks for the tables and we'll catch them up. So this in front of me here is Dean. Okay. 
Okay. So this is this is Dean. <laughs> he runs this whole crowd at no profit. No profit at all. And he's raising money for the Hill Crest Eight Centre Trust. And he's raised a hundred grand. No, two hundred and ten thousand. Yo. Should be close to two hundred and fifteen after yesterday's charity drive. Sure. Okay. It was a hundred thousand the last time you, so it's yeah. gone up a lot. Somebody threw a hundred thousand in on a Thursday morning. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, that all goes to the Hillcrest AIDS Centre Trust. Yes. And uh, all of these people ahead of us are running with Dean's group today. How many Dean? About 200 looks like. 210. Yeah. Guess Dean's actually indirectly related to me. <laughs> He's my father-in-law's cousin. Correct. Uh, so we're going to tag on with them for part of their run today and then I've got to run back up here. Oh no, really? <laughs> yeah. and I was just chirping about the little notes that you actually are here. Yeah, we are. What were you saying about that? <laughs> no, somebody was saying, Dean, where's the nearest toilet? Brad's David goes straight down there. You are the famous born. Onto the freeway. <laughs> but uh, that's the freeway and it's open to traffic today. So we're off down here. On a very well trodden training route by those trying to mimic the comrades down run route and next year we'll turn around and do it all the other way through Gillets and into Cliff in the very far distance is Durban and you can also see the sun is just peaking above the horizon Time is now 5.56 Aiming for at least 30 and maximum 35 today So, which will get me to I think just short of 110 for the week Which is about as much as I'll do in a comrades training week I've learned that my limit is around about that and just keep it solid and consistent so here's the view of Devon and this is where I will turn around and run back up So, uh, thank you to the beloved long runners. Here we go, we're joining Fields Hill now. So, there's the rest of the crowd heading off to Derbs. And uh, I'm going to head back the other way. So, Huh? Oh no, I'm running the wrong way. I'm heading back. Uh. <laughs> so there's a view of the sun coming up. Well, it's not up yet, but it's lighting up the sky. That is an endlessly not funny chirp that runners use when people are doing arts and backs. So, have a look at that skyline, eh? So, although I'm on my own now, oh, I'm yeah. not on my own because there's always comrades runners out. What's your name? And it's mixed What time are you training for comrades, eh? Yeah, yeah. What time are you going for? Uh, I think uh, uh, 10 hours. 10 hours? You're running fast? Yeah, fast. 
we are running five minutes okay now oh, i thought you were gonna say silver oh yeah hey you can see how much i've had to speed up to keep with him <laughs> go for it i'm gonna slow down eh? all right all right good luck okay okay i meet you on the uh, checkout yeah huh checkout yeah nah i'm Can not doing any more marathons oh. um i only do long slow runs now oh, okay i don't like to race so. oh. I prefer to do oh, okay. slow runs at the right place for comrades. Eh? Oh, yeah. I would like. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's good for comrades. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I would like to go for nine for eight fifty-five. Oh, yeah. So that's my aim. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. Good luck, eh? So he's doing what a lot of comrade runners do and that's run pretty quickly so I prefer the the uh, and he's gonna go straight down Phil's Hill so I prefer the uh, slow approach quicker recovery And so that, this field's hill, we'll be running down there on the temperature. Going to do a loop around the bottom here in, uh, in Kloof, go and get some water. That's one thing about planning long runs as a uh, long distance runner is you have to get to know where all the uh, good places are to get water it's uh, being on the comrades route here it's part of the culture in the area almost that almost all of the petrol stations have taps for runners because the routes are so well trodden and some of them do it out of kindness and courtesy to the runners and others just do it to keep the runners off their forecourts and in an area where they can manage them so that they're not in the way so we have some proof that we are on the comrades route that is going to be 28 k's to go on the 10th of june uh, this is in Kloof we're on an old main road running the wrong way but yeah so this is the part of the route where you you really on the down run you really start to run into the crowds and it it really does help you get to the end in these last 30 k's of the down run so if you're not a runner and you might venture out i promise you it helps those of us who are on the road to have people on the side of the road and uh, don't shout you're nearly there because you're not nearly there until you run under Tollgate Bridge if you in that part of the route you can shout you're nearly there but uh, not before that please morning morning And there we have 31 to go. So, another example of a tap that's been put here in Winston Park um, for runners, and it's actually in memory of one of the runners. Handy to have these dotted around training routes so you don't have to carry water and uh, yeah I'm a firm believer in drinking water only on training runs um, by heading out in the morning with no food in your tummy and drinking only water you really do boost your fat burning metabolism and even the skinniest of us carry around a lot of body fat and if you 
teach your body to burn fat you are carrying more fuel than you need for any run or event regardless of how far it is the problem for a lot of people is that they can't access that store of fuel so we're on the top of what's known as Heartbreak Hill and Hillcrest now and uh, this is a nice little this is a single track that runs down next to our main road it's a fun to ride your mountain bike down here and uh, I enjoy running on it as well it takes a little bit of the impact off your legs makes you think a bit and uh, just takes some of the boredom out of it if you run on a single track so, almost done now just got a couple of case to go and uh, just kind of enjoy the last little bit make it a bit more interesting lessons about the comrades route get used to going up and down hills going down hills also takes strength and technique and there are good and bad ways of doing it uh, I was running next to a guy going through cliff who I could hear by his footfalls but just with some simple hints he could save himself a lot of energy and he even asked me so how must I run? so hopefully you gave him a bit of a hand almost done now a kilometre to go so just coming to the end of my training week uh, just did a little 150 meter dash up the hill up there just uh, get the heart rate up a little bit at the end of the run and uh, practice a bit of technique work while I'm tired going up and down watch has just clicked over to 32 kilometers which I've decided is enough for the day 20 miles and uh, we are done for the day and the week so there we go 32 stop the watch we'll just walk a little bit now haven't actually didn't actually do any walk run today to practice it because we'll definitely be doing that uh, in six weeks comrades day uh, feeling really good just got to stay healthy now uh, next week is actually a recovery week for me so a bit less mileage but at the end of the week doing root tester which is uh, we'll start in Marisburg at Collegians Club and run to Hillcrest Villages which is just down the road from here which I think is about 55 kilometers all on one day so we'll do that nice and slowly that's slower than comrades pace uh, the comrades coach Lindsay Perry says it's the right time to do it but five weeks ago with a, runner, with a little bit of experience like I do so done got five medals and yet to dip under the nine hour barrier which I hope to do this year um, feeling good which I, I have been in this position before and, and not managed it so we're not counting any chickens hopefully learn from some of the mistakes I've made in the past and get it right this year the down run is definitely my best chance of doing it um, being I'm not a focused runner um, I'm, I'm actually a paddler that's the sport that I probably spend the most time and effort putting putting into um, and then at the end of the paddling season which is the summer river season in Natal uh, I then strap on the running shoes and try and get a decent amount of mileage in before comrades and do that and running I've done got five finishes so yeah, my watch is just beeping telling me that I'm recovered so I'll turn around um, yeah so got five medals in the bag all bronze got pretty close to nine two years ago which is 2016 
got a bit of cramp uh, in Gillets, which is we ran past there today, and then going over Cowies cost me all the time that I lost and put me over the nine hour barrier. So this year we hope to get it right, keep the cramp away and have a good day physically, stay healthy till then, and hopefully I'll get it. Uh, really want to just get that notch under the belt. It's been a goal of mine for a while. Um, yeah, I'm a, quite a quite a heavy. Although I'm very lean, um, I'm quite heavy for a runner. My kind of physique. I'm six foot five, one point nine five meters tall, um, and being a paddler, I carry a lot of weight on my upper body, which obviously helps me get down the doozy and the fish in the Amkamas pretty well. Um, but uh, carrying the weight around my shoulders um, doesn't help me running comrades or anything further than 10k's probably so it gets hard work and once you go beyond 60k's the weight really does start to take its toll and it becomes really hard work so you know, for me running ultras and running good times at ultras or for me a good time is all about impact resistance and just being able to sustain that good posture and good running gait for as long a time as possible. Um, yeah, so six weeks to do. I'm not actually really going to try and improve in the six weeks. I'm just going to try and keep it going. I'm feeling really good, so I don't want to overstep the mark and and uh, have a hiccup along the way. So we'll just try and keep the physical load where it is and just try and keep the body going. If we can improve the fitness, obviously that'll be a benefit. But I know from experience that I'm I am in pretty good shape. And I have overstepped the mark in the past, so try not to do that. See you on the road. Hello boy. Sorry. This is he came to greet me at the door. Hey? Have you been having fun this morning at Gorgon and Chebe's house? Huh? Where's Daddy been? Daddy. Out for a long run. Huh? Huh? You want to go and run too? Want to run too? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs>